Hello everybody and welcome to a brand new video and today in this video I'm going to be doing my Doctor Who book collection and I thought this would be a good way to finish off the sort of uh, collection video trilogy I guess you could call it because uh, I've done my DVD collection, my big finish collection and now I think I'm going to do my book collection just to round it off and um, I think this one is long overdue and I think uh, I've collected a fair few more since my last one um, I think my last one was a good few years ago now so as, as you can imagine uh, I probably picked up quite a few more. Um, there, there is more than this, by the way, so I'm going to have to do a jump cut at some point towards the end of the video. Um, so without any further ado, let's begin. We're kicking things off with the target novelizations. We have uh, Doctor and the Doomsday Weapon, uh, The Three Doctors, Doctor and the Green Death. We have uh, Doctor and the Dinosaur Invasion, and the Ark in Space, and the Sontaran Experiment. And the Seeds of Doom, uh, the Horror of Fang Rock, the Talons of Wing Chiang, which is a brilliant novelization, I highly recommend that one. Um, the Robots of Death, we have the Creature from the Pit, the Leisure Hive, uh, the Mutants, the Twin Dilemma, the Wheel in Space, which is quite a rare target novelization. Ghost Light, The Power of the Daleks, again quite a rare novelisation and it's a fantastic read, I highly recommend it if you uh, ever get, get a chance to pick it up. And we have the BBC Books reprints of the uh, Target books, so we have uh, Doctor and the Tenth uh, and the Daleks, I nearly said the Tenth Planet for some reason, uh, The Crusaders, uh, The Tenth Planet, Doctor and the Cybermen, and The Abominable Snowman, which is a really good book, highly recommend that one. And The Autumn Invasion, again, another another really good story, uh, and a good novel as well. Uh, Doctor and the Cave Monsters, and The Loch Ness Monster. You have the new series uh, Target Novels, uh, Rose, which is one of my favourite Doctor Who books of all time. I think it's a brilliant novelisation of the story. Uh, the Day of the Doctor, which is uh, really good as well. Now to my version uh, New Adventures, we have Transit, Lucifer Rising, No Future, Legacy, Blood Harvest, who is, which is a brilliant uh, story, really fantastic bit of writing by uh, Terence Dix, who um, has sadly passed away, so um, rest in peace uh, Terence Dix. Uh, Human Nature, um, I, I love this, I think it's such a really iconic Doctor Who novel. Um, I loved it so much that I read it twice. Um, Original Sin, one of my favourite Doctor Who books. Uh, fantastic, really recommend this one. Uh, Sky Pirates. Uh, Return of the Living Dad. Uh, you can probably imagine what that title is based off. Um, yeah, really did enjoy this one. Um, feels like a bit a bit like a sort of a Torchwood slash Sarah Jane Adventures type of story, so it's a really fun uh, novel. Uh, the Death of Art, Bad Therapy, which is one of my favourite Doctor Who books of all time. It might actually be my favourite Doctor Who novel, um, but I strongly recommend that one. And we have um, Long Barrow. Now, this isn't the original edition. This is like a weird sort of reprint, um, but I was happy to pick it up because I've been dying to read it, and I have read it, and as much as I enjoyed it, I will say it is a little bit overrated. And we have the Virgin Missing Adventures um, with, with uh, Evolution. I've only read one of these in my collection, I haven't got that many of them. Uh, Venusian Lullaby. Uh, the Crystal Basuculus, I think that's how you pronounce it. Uh, Millennial Rights, which is the one I have read. Um, it's, uh, it's okay, um, I enjoyed it, but I wouldn't say it was the best book in the world. The Empire of Glass. And then we have uh, The Shadow of Wang Chang, which I'm really looking forward to reading. That was a recent pickup. And we have my past Doctor Adventures with um, The Murder Game. Uh, the Witch Hunters, the original edition, which is a fantastic story. Highly, highly recommend it. It's just so good. Now moving on to the uh, second shelf, we have... Actually, I had to stand up on a stool because I'm not the tallest person in the world. Um, so we have uh, Rags. Um, yep, yeah, quite a questionable Doctor Who book. But, um, yeah, it, it's different. I'll uh, give it that. And one that I'm reading at the moment, and this is one that um, a fellow friend of mine, well, a fellow YouTuber, uh, Pitskull Black, actually sent me. 
and it is a world game and so far I'm really enjoying it so that's good um, then we have the final sanction now with my uh, eighth doctor adventures we have uh, the eight doctors which is a really uh, fun read um, I do recommend this one uh, vampire science uh, I did enjoy this I know some people consider it to be a bit overrated but I really enjoyed it um, the body snatchers uh, I enjoyed it but there are some very questionable moments in it um, War of the Daleks um, I liked it I know a lot of people give it a hard time because of its continuity but I enjoyed it uh, Legacy of the Daleks then we have uh, Seeing Eye which is one that I'm really anticipating I'm just getting a stool out of the way because it's sort of blocking uh, my access to the books um, so we have Bell Tempest uh, the Face Eater, I love that cover, I think it's a glorious cover, very disturbing. Um, we have the Blue Angel. Uh, End Game. The Escape Velocity. The Fall of Yakitane, I think that's how you pronounce it. Uh, Trading Futures, which is, which one I'm looking forward to. I think it's, apparently it's a bit like a, a James Bond sort of story, so I'm looking forward to that. Now we have my new series novels, um, well, quite a few of these, and I have read some of them as well. Uh, so we have The Clockwise Man, um, it was okay, but uh, it was a little bit slow, and I think that's a common theme um, for the Justin Richards books from the ones that I've read. They all seem to be a bit slow, but some of them are decent. Uh, I'll put my paper paperbacks here, just because it's you know in line. Uh, the Steelers of Dreams, which is uh, one of my favourite Doctor Who books again, and it's probably one of the best new series novels from the ones that I have read. Uh, it's so so good and plus it's written by Steve Lyons so you can't really go wrong there uh, then we have the monsters inside I actually have two copies of these uh, one, one of them is signed uh, which I found in a charity shop which is pretty cool um, really good story um, I know a lot of people love this one and I do recommend it and there's the other copy there and we have the winner takes all which is a good one but um, I will say the villains are quite weak in it uh, the Deviant Strain, um, it's a, a good story, um, it's slow, but uh, I, I'd say stick with it, because it is, it is really good. We have The Steelers of Dreams, I've already mentioned that before. And we have The Feast of the Drowned, which is a story that I did enjoy, I thought it was pretty good. Um, and then we have The Resurrection Cats Kit, which is probably my favourite Justin Richards novel, I quite enjoyed this one. Um, the Nightmare of Black Island, which is actually the first Doctor Who book I ever got in my collection, um, but I haven't read it yet, which is quite interesting. Then we have the uh, Art of Destruction, let me get back in there, um, the Price of Paradise, Sting of the Zygons, The Last Dodo, Wooden Heart, Forever Autumn, Wet World, uh, sick building, which in my opinion, I think it's one of the worst Doctor Who books that I've ever read. So anticlimactic. Um, and we have Pirate Loop and Wishing Well. And at the bottom shelf here, we have um, Story of Martha, The Judgment of the Jadoon, Prison of the Daleks, which I think is one of the best new series novels. I think it's really, really good. I know this is quite a popular one amongst the uh, Doctor Who community. And we have some, a couple of quick reads with uh, Claws and the Macra. Yeah, I enjoyed this. I remember read, reading it back in school. Um, we have uh, Magic of the Angels, which I found to be a little bit disappointing. Um, I'm not going to bother getting these out because I found these. Oh, no, wait, actually, no, sorry. It was, it was these that I really struggled to get in there because it was really tight and I had to swap all the DVDs around to get the books in there um, just to make the video a lot easier to film. Uh, so, Plague of the Sidemen. Um, the Dalek Generation, Shroud of Sorrow. Uh, if we can get this one out, it's really hard to get out here. The Tales of Trenzalore. Um, we have The Shining Man. Yeah, they, these ones are really hard to get out. Uh, Diamond Dog, which I thought was um, quite a decent story. Uh, Plague City um, was really good. I know a lot of people uh, like this one, I think. And uh, yeah, I really enjoyed this. Really, really good story. We have uh, the 50th anniversary collection. Some books are falling down here, so I'm just going to leave them as they are because they seem to have a mind of their own at the moment. So we have. Um, oh, and they've all fallen down. Brilliant. So if I can just try and get them up, that would be good. I've got a feeling they're all going to fall down anyway, so what the hell. Uh, Ten Little Aliens. Um, 
I found this one to be really overrated and really quite boring actually. Um, I'm sure fans of this story are probably going to shoot me, um, but uh, in my opinion I just didn't get anything from that story. Last of the Gallery, a fantastic novel, um, highly recommend this one, it's probably one of Margate's best work. Uh, Festival of Death, Fear of the Dark, players uh, really enjoyed this one, I uh, thought it was a really really good story. Remembrance of the Daleks, a fantastic novelization. if you haven't got this and you love the television story of Remembrance, then I highly recommend you get this uh, novelization of it. It's brilliant. And we have uh, The Monster Collection with um, Shakedown, one of my favourite Doctor Who novels. Um, I think it's absolutely fantastic, and the Sontarans are written to uh, perfection, and it's written by Terrence Stick, so you can't really go wrong there. And we have Shadow in the Glass. Um, I don't know if it's one of my favourites, but I did really, really enjoy this one. Um, it's a really good... Uh, World War II type of story and it's um, it's fantastic, I highly recommend it. Then we have some sort of non-fiction books with uh, Doctor's Who's Who, which is basically like has many sort of biographies of all the actors who played the Doctor, even Peter Cushing, so that's pretty cool, I highly recommend it. <coughs> Sorry, and we have um, another book by the same author and this is basically like a episode rating sort of guide, it even has uh, ratings of some of the books and the Big Finish audio, so um, I would recommend it. Uh, this is quite an uh, outdated edition, but it's still quite nice to have. And then we have a little biography of uh, Michael E. Bryant, who was one of the well-known sort of classic Doctor Who directors. He's directed uh, a load of the stories, as you can see on there, with the action figures as representing the stories that he's directed. Um, I've read some of this, and from what I have read, uh, it was really, really good. Uh, right, so now let's uh, go to a little jump cut and I'll show you some of the other books that I've got. Okay, so now we have some Lethbridge Stewart novels and kicking things off we have uh, The Forgotten Sun, uh, Times Squared, and Night of the Intelligence. This forms the, uh, the Great Intelligence uh, trilogy. Um, I haven't read this yet, but I'm really looking forward to getting around to reading it. Um, I've heard it's meant to be a fantastic trilogy and uh, I've heard it's been highly recommended so I'm really looking forward to giving those a read. And we have some Target hardbacks uh, with uh, Doctor and the Deadly Assassin which is an ex-library hardback. Uh, I'm quite pleased to have that one. Um, and we have Doctor and the Auton Invasion, uh, ex-library again. Um, I picked these up pretty cheaply at a Comic Con, um, I think it was last, a couple of years ago. And we have my only big finish short trip, which is uh, Dalek Empire, which I have read, actually, and um, I really enjoyed it. Um, even though I haven't really listened much of Dalek Empire, but I still enjoyed it. <laughs> um, then we have Engines of War. Uh, I haven't read it, I know, a bit of a shock horror, but um, I still uh, would like to get around to reading this at some point. And we have uh, some Talos novellas. Uh, so we've got uh, Time and Relative, um, which is the deluxe version, and... Um, Put score black again is another item that he sent me and well, he gave to me in person actually and um, I'm really happy to have this so thank you very much to Put score black. Then we have the uh, Cabinet of Light which is the uh, prequel to the spin-off series which I'm about to show you in a moment. So we've got the Time Hunter which is the sort of like uh, Telos uh, publication spin-off series that they did. Um, from what I gather it's, it's a series that wasn't really well received and I'm sure probably not many of you on, that have subscribed to my channel um, would not have heard of this sort of series but maybe, who knows maybe some of you have uh, so Time Hunter the winning side um, yeah it was good I, I think it was a good start to the series and I did enjoy this one and we have uh, the cab uh, tunnel at the end of the light which um, I, I quite liked personally and we have uh, which one's this the uh, clockwork woman these are all the deluxe versions by the way uh, the uh, Severed Man, which I've heard is meant to be quite good. And we have uh, Kitsune, which is quite a nice red cover. And we have, um, what's this one, the Albino Dancer. And the Sideways Door, which I think is quite a rare one now. And then we have some factual books, some more factual books. We have um, About Time, which uh, is the uh, unauthorised guide to Doctor Who. And The Writer's Tale, which is a really fantastic book. I know a lot. this book gets a lot of praise, and um, I've read bits of this, and from what I have read, I've really, really enjoyed it. I thought it was a fantastic read. Um, so there we go. And also we have some more sort of random books here. This is in no particular order. Um, this is just some books that I've piled together, um, just to showcase some of the stuff that I've got. So we've got 
Um, one of my favourite books uh, that I own. It's the Monsters and Villains book, which is a fantastic book. Um, one of the main reasons that I got into the classic series was because of this book. Um, I'm really thankful for it. Uh, and we have um, the Essential Guide, which is a really nice book about pretty much every story and every doctor and every character and monster and what have you. And we have um, this fan fiction magazine, um, which is a really good read. I really enjoyed this. Um, it's not canon because, as it says, it's fan fiction, but um, that doesn't really matter because I still enjoyed it. And uh, one of the YouTubers that I like to watch, uh, Batman March, um, actually wrote one of the stories in there. So as you can see, there's his name there, Matthew Toffolo. Um, so yeah, really uh, enjoyed this, and I hope they do more of these in the future. And then we have uh, the complete history collection. Now I've only got three of these because. Um, Whilst I would like to get all of them, I just don't simply don't have the space for them. So we've got um, this one with Spare from Space, uh, Silurians and the Ambassadors of Death. Really good uh, volume. And we've got Colony in Space, The Daemons and Dave the Daleks. Uh, again, another really good volume. And then we have um, the first one that was released, which was uh, Gridlock, Daleks in Manhattan, Evolution of the Daleks, The Lazarus Experiment and 42. Um, Quite glad I got that pretty cheap. I think everyone got it pretty cheaply, really, when it came, first came out. Then we have a really rare Doctor Who item. This is um, I actually did an unboxing of this, and this is the Doctor Who: The Key to Time, which is basically like a basically a history of the program, really, up to Colin Baker's time. Um, so it came out in the 1980s, and it's a really nice um, rare uh, Doctor Who item to have in your collection. Then we have the uh, Doctor Who: The Early Years, which I'm really pleased to get, actually. And it's one of the rarest Doctor Who books to get, uh, very difficult to get hold of. Um, I actually got this for 60 quid off Amazon, believe it or not. Um, I could not believe my luck, and um, yeah, really happy to have this. It's a really nice item, so uh, good luck trying to find it. But um, if you do find it for a good price, I seriously suggest getting it, because it's a really nice, uh, gorgeous book. These two books do come with slipcases, but I've taken them off for the purpose of this video. Uh, then we have uh, the Target book, um, which is uh, written by David J. Ho, and I actually got it uh, signed by him, which is pretty cool. Um, really recommend this one if you're a fan of the uh, Target book range. And then some like miscellaneous items, we've got uh, the Doctor's 30 Years of Time Travel, and the Doctor Who The Book of Monsters, um, Doctor Who Illustrated A to Z, I love that cover art, I think it's so retro and just so 80s, I think it looks gorgeous. Um, and then we have uh, Doctor Who and the Invasion from Space, which I found for £75 in an antique shop. And when I saw it, I could not believe my eyes. I thought, this bugger goes for about you know, £300 on eBay sometimes, sometimes £500. And to find it for 75 quid, I, I was really happy with, so I'm really happy about that. And it's in pretty good condition, nobody's drawn in it or anything like that, so... Um, yeah, really nice item actually. Um, and then finally we have uh, the Dark World, which I think is also pretty rare as well. And actually I found it in the same char in the same antique shop. Um, I think I got this for 35 was it? I can't remember how much I got this for, but a, a decent price as well. So I'm um, really fortunate to have these particular books in my collection. So uh, I think that pretty much con concludes um, my book collection really. I'm, I'm not going to include my Doctor Who magazines because I can always do that for another video because uh, there's quite a lot to cover um, so yes thank you very much for watching um, I've reviewed some of these books if you want to check out those reviews if you want to uh, hear more of my thoughts on them um, and I guess you can comment down below and tell me if you know if you want uh, any of these books um, reviewed in the future um, so yeah that's it so uh, thank you very much for watching please subscribe to the channel if you're new uh, hit the like button and um, yeah, thank you very much for watching and goodbye.